Hello, I'm Andrew Fidel Fernando. I'm at Rawal Pindi Stadium reporting for Cricketry on the uh, This was the scene for four days of a very wet, gloomy, uh, and uh, cold test, it has to be said. Uh, only 91 overs were, were possible across the first four days of the test yesterday. Day four didn't get any play at all because of, of uh, wet outfield. Uh, today, however, there was sunshine uh, and uh, three completed centuries. The specialty for Sri Lanka was uh, Dhanajan Silva's batting right through this test. He came to the crease uh, on the afternoon of the first day with Sri Lanka on 120 odd for four in, in danger of being bowled out for less than 200 essentially. But he put on partnerships with uh, Nirosham Dikwell, the first stuff, and then uh, Dilran Pereira as well later on uh, and, and progressed to that 100, put Sri Lanka in a position of relative strength. Uh, and uh, the, the great thing about this innings was that it was made in such tough conditions. It was gloomy, there were floodlights. Uh, Nasim Shah was bowling at uh, 145 kph at times. Uh, Shahin Shah Shaf really also bowled some outstanding spells, as did uh, Mohammad Abbas. Uh, but he saw through all of that, looked confident through all of that, uh, played some of those uh, lovely drives and, and cuts and pull shots that, uh, that he played with uh, special grace. And, uh, and he was able to, to add some grit uh, to this batting effort. Uh, this was the sixth century of his career, but also the second one consecutive tests. Uh, he's the only Sri Lanka batsman to have scored more than 100 this year and is a contender for the Test Player of the Year, you have to say, going into that final test. Not only has he has he uh, got an aggregate that's second only to Dimit Ratne in 2019, he's also bowled some excellent spells, uh, one in Port Elizabeth uh, coming to mind especially. Uh, he, he contributed heavily with the ball towards uh, the victory of that test. Uh, and he's been great with the, uh, in the field as well right throughout the year. Um, he's generally a good fielder and he's kept his standards high. Uh, Sri Lanka otherwise uh, had a pretty modest workout with the ball. We're only able to get two wickets on the fifth day which, was, which uh, produced the best batting conditions of the test. Barbar Azam and uh, Abid Ali scored uh, two hundreds for Pakistan. The first hundreds at home uh, for Pakistan batsmen in a decade. Uh, much to the joy of this uh, Rahul Pindi crowd that packed up the stadium today uh, after they had braved such uh, tough conditions to come and watch the game in the previous four days. Uh, Sri Lanka take 20 points uh, to the World Te Test from the World Test Championship from this test and they go to Karachi uh, looking to turn that into 80, 80 points from the series uh, if they get the 60 points for a win there. Uh, but pretty even honours uh, from what was uh, a a frustrating Rahul Pindi test for the most part. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this and don't forget to hit the bell icon for our latest content.